Hello all, welcome to the YouTube channel of Chameli Devi Institute of Pharmacy in Law. Myself Priyanka Sun. I am going to discuss today about the chemistry of anthracene. So, benzene moiety is basically three fused benzene ring and uh, when these rings fuse with each other, three benzene rings, then it results into the formation of anthracene. We can see it is a kind of solid substance which is available in the monoclinic crystals and it is one of the solid polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon with the molecular formula C14H10 that is uh, being hydrocarbon or being made up of the hydrogen and carbon only it is usually insoluble in water being the non-polar substance and while it is soluble in non-polar solvents like acetone, benzene and other polar solvents. If you see here, the melting point of anthracene is around 215 degrees centigrade and boiling point is usually 340 degrees centigrade. It is available as a colorless or white crystals which is available in the form of monocytic crystals and uh, it is uh, usually a weak aromatic compound and uh, you can see here the anthracene derivative. Usually the anthracene moiety is used in the synthesis of dyes. So you can see here the different colored anthracene derivatives are available here. Now the general information about anthracene. Anthracene is also known as paranaphthene or green oil which is uh, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon where the three benzene rings are fused with each other and usually derived from the coal tar. And uh, if you talk about the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon, they are usually represented with the environmental pollutants. So it is on the EPS priority pollutant list. It is also available in the environment in the, because of the incomplete combustion of the fossil fuels. It is also identified in the surface in drinking water, ambient air, exhaust emission, smoke of cigarettes and cigars and in the smoked foods and edible aquatic organisms. It is usually uh, used as an intermediate in the production of dyes, smoke screens, scintillation counter crystals in organic semiconductor research and prolonged exposure of this substance uh, cause a variety of topical and systemic adverse reactions also. So, now the resonating structures of anthracene molecule. You can see here it is aromatic compound and uh, since it is made up of the three fused benzene ring, it do have resonating structures. You can see here the four resonating structures are available the charge only differs in the arrangement of that pi bonded electrons among the three A, B, C rings. If you talk about the resonance energy of this molecule and compare it with the other polynuclear hydrocarbons as well as benzene, you can see here the anthracene is having 84 kilocalorie per mole of the resonating energy while benzene is having 36 kilocalorie per mole. So if you talk about the reactivity of the anthracene molecule definitely in comparison to the benzene it is having high energy and that's why it is more reactive compared to the benzene molecule. Now talking about the method of preparation of anthracene, there are usually uh, 4 to 6 methods are there like we can obtain it from benzoyl chloride from benzene from the reaction between benzene and tetrapromolithane by Havert method using Alps reaction and using diacenter reaction. One of the most important reactions which is used mainly is the Alps reaction. Uh, we will discuss it one by one, all these reactions. Now, the first method is the method from the, uh, from the benzyl chloride. You can see here, it is a kind of fiddle craft reaction where you can uh, take two benzyl chloride molecules and uh, when they react with each other in the presence of LCLC, a uh, fiddle craft reaction occurs and that results into the formation of 9-10-dihydroanthracene molecule which subsequently undergoes dehydrogenation to produce anthracene. This is one of the important uh, processes and uh, usually the uh, reaction mechanism follows the fiddle craft reaction that is the electrophilic substitution reaction mechanism. Then the second is from the benzene. You can see here uh, when we take uh, 2 is to 1 ratio of benzene and dry methane in the again in the presence of a lavish acid like LCL3 
uh, it usually undergoes of acid reaction that is a fiddle graph kind of reaction and then the clubbing of this moiety occurs that uh, three rings will form cyclization of that moiety occurs and it results into the anthracene formation the next reaction is from the reaction between benzene and tetrabromoethane now you can see here again the same reaction while uh, in which we have uh, we have discussed earlier from the benzene the same kind of reaction occurs when you treat uh, benzene with the 1122 tetrabromoethane molecule and uh, uh, in the presence of alcl3 which is also lavis acid fc reaction that is the product of alkylation reaction occurs and anthracene is produced now the next reaction is the havoc process uh, havoc process is usually used for the formation of polynuclear hydrocarbons like phenanthrene anthracene and naphthalene and here it, uh, for the formation of anthracene we can take kalic anion right and uh, when we are reacting it with the benzene under the pretty craft condition reaction conditions then the molecule ortho benzo benzoyl benzoic acid results and which subsequently undergoes dehydration with the help of the h2so4 to produce 910 dihydroanthracene scene molecule this 910 dihydroanthracene molecules then again undergo dehydrogenation reactions with the zinc dust and uh, results in the formation of anthracene molecule this is the alps reaction it is actually the thermal decomposition reaction which is the classical method for the preparation of anthracene in the laboratory and it uh, actually involves the cyclo uh, dehydration of ortho methyl or ortho methylene substituted diaryl ketones and uh, when such molecule undergoes pyrolysis uh, that is the thermal decomposition it results into the formation of uh, anthracene the cyclization occurs of this molecule and anthracene process like here in this reaction ortho methyl benzophenone when undergoes pyrolysis it results into formation of anthracene this is one of the most important and most widely used method for the preparation of anthracene molecule. now the next is the diacylder reaction diacylder reaction is a kind of reaction between the conjugated diene and the substituted alkene uh, groups and uh, it's a kind of very cyclic reaction here the diacylder kind of reaction occurring between the 14 naphthalene and buta 13 diene and it results into the formation of uh, this uh, dion intermediate which uh, undergoes uh, a reaction with the c uh, when uh, treated with the cro3 that is uh, chromate ions and then it results into the anthracene 910 dion and uh, when you treat this molecule with the zinc dust then the reduction occurs and ultimately the formation of anthracene molecules occurs this is also an important reaction for the preparation of anthracene now the uses of anthracene if you see here the anthracene derivatives having the hydroxy groups are one hydroxy anthracene and two hydroxy anthracene which are homologs to phenols and naphthones hydroxy anthracene is called anthro and anthracene and hydroxy anthracene derivatives are actually pharmacologically active and as well as they are contained in the alloy substances also and uh, anthracene is also used in the organic semiconductor it is used as scintillator for detectors of the high energy photons electrons and alpha particles and plastic such as polyvinyl trolley can be dopped with the anthracene to produce plastic scintillators that is approximately what is required for use in the radiation therapy dosing tree it can be uh, mainly used for the preparation or synthesis of the anthraphenone which is also the precursor to red dye and uh, the same procedure is used to produce uh, alizarin which is also a red dye so it is used in the dye industry also this is all about anthracene molecule thank you so